Hey everybody, Ron Burke from Gaming Trend here. Today we're going to unbox the Celestron Star Sense Explorer DX130AZ. Clearly, I'm going to sharpen this thing. Since this is a complete kit, it comes with the tripod as well as the telescope itself. All you'll need to supply is your smartphone. Tripod. Piece that I just dropped. Here's the tray. Find motor controls that we'll need when we have it all assembled. These are the individual eyepieces. It comes with a 25 millimeter and 10 millimeter. That's the holder for the phone with the finder. We'll get to that later. Obviously one of the more delicate pieces. And actually that's the phone holder right there with the mirror that lets it reflect up. We'll see more on that later. Here's the telescope itself. Go ahead and put this together, and I'll see you in just a second. With the legs slid out, all we have to do here is push this down in the center, put this plate here in the middle, and screw them in. You can pause now. The next step is to pull this Allen wrench. It's kind of hidden down here in the base. We're going to go ahead and loosen these little Allen bolts inside the fine control arms and they attach the final little detent you slide on there and then get threaded on with the Allen wrench. The next part that we're going to do is get this turn to the top so it's ready to mount. On top here you can see there's a little line that indicates where this should be. So you should have it facing pretty much straight up and down. So the next thing that we're going to do is mount the telescope itself up here. 
This goes right into that dovetail part there. And you simply crank that down until it's locked in place. The next thing we're going to do is loosen these pieces here off of the focuser. Remove that cap. Insert the 25 millimeter lens inside and tighten it down finger tight. The next thing we're going to do is attach the finder scope. So that goes over here. Again, just unscrew this enough where you can slide it in. Just like that. Lock it down. So swinging this around to this side, you'll see this little nub here. Take this piece. There's an arrow here. It slides on and it locks in place. All right, and we're all assembled. All we need to do is take off this front, front lens cap, take off this cap, and heed the very helpful warning not to look directly at the sun, unless you've got a filter for that. So Jupiter is supposed to be highly visible today. So as a result, we're going to try and find it. It's right there. So the first thing you do is put the phone into the cradle and set it for, well that's the night vision mode. Mm -hmm. This is trying to focus, there we go. You don't have to use the night vision mode um, for the screen. You use that when you... You want me to hold that off? There we go. So now you press the star, I think it's star sense button down here. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we need to do an alignment. So for alignment, it'll give you some nice tutorials. But the idea is you point at something about 100 meters away and then you center it. So first thing you do is center the phone on the, yeah, it's hard to see back here, but there's a mirror underneath. Yeah, you can kind of see the reflection there. So you center it on the mirror. This one you turn on night mode so it can see the mirror. So right now we'll turn this so it can see, but yep, it's not quite centered. But there we go. So we're going to center it and now obviously it's too bright so we'll turn off the night vision mode there. Go back. There we go. And then we should be able to hit next and then aim it directly at the <laughs> directly at the uh, light there and sight it in. So just like that and we should be done. So now it's going to locate objects. This little star button here can tell you the most viewable things in the area for that evening. So for tonight, Venus should be in the list. Oh, and somehow it's not. All right, well that's okay. Pretty sure we can find it. So we hit the star sense button and you can type it or you can search for it there. If you hit the little speaking button, which you just skipped, You get the little text bubble there. Venus. It'll tell you how to pronounce it. Venus is often better seen with the unaided eye than in a large telescope, where it sometimes disappoints. To the eye only, Venus is the brightest object in the sky, except for the sun and the moon. It is often called the wishing star. So one of the things I don't like is if I hit locate, it immediately stops that. And that's kind of frustrating, so... Um, so it's a little bit overcast, so I guess we'll see if we can find it. So go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and move so my wife can move the telescope. Just pull it. There you go. So as you rotate around the night sky, that target 
gets clearer, the closer you get. Unfortunately, due to Texas weather being completely unpredictable, we got severe weather warnings and hail about 15 minutes after this point. So instead of checking out Venus, look at these amazing pictures we shot of the moon the night before. Look for our full review at GamingTrend.com, and thanks for watching.